All right, so the de-extinction mod adds around 19 new creatures that can spawn all throughout the world of Subnautica. So in this video, we're going to cover two of the smaller creatures. We're going to cover five of the medium to large size creatures. And then lastly, we're going to look at the big Leviathan. Interesting. So this is the Amber Clown Pencher. He seems to have like these two arms. He just... Oh my gosh, what the freak was that? Well, that's one of the newer creatures as well. I'm not sure what that bird is called, but that's a new creature. It scared the mess out of me. I don't know what that sound was. But the Amber Clown Pencher, he's got these two nice little arms. It kind of looks like a, uh, you know, clownfish, hence the name Clown Pencher. You can cook the Clown Penchers, okay. Because a lot of the, a lot of the smaller fish that this mod adds, you can put into the fabricator and you can cook. So that's also a nice little feature. So that's the Amber no way that's the amber clown pencher making that sound next we have these filtorbs i'm not even sure if you'd consider these fish they're kind of just like little you know orbs that sit around they kind of float around and whenever you go near them they will close up and you can't grab them when you are not near them they will stay open like as we can see right now they're kind of like inside of them are blue and you can see the orange interior so the amber clown pinchers that we just covered they're found in the found in the sparse reef the underwater islands and the mushroom forest biomes and then the field orbs that i just showed are found in the in the dunes biome the grand reef the grassy plateaus the mountains the safe shallows the kelp forest and the deep grand reef okay and the next small creature we have on this list is going to be the ribbon ray the ribbon ray are found in the safe shallows the sparse reef and the mushroom forest ribbon ray is super colorful you know it's got that nice little green color and then that blue stripe and he's got like his little hoop arms i kind of find that kind of funny and then these long things on his back freaking they look like giant legs but you can cook him you can cook basically every small fish that this mod adds all right and the first medium to large size creature we have on this list is going to be the grand glider and they usually spawn in like these big old groups together and they sort of like swim together but uh in this case they're a little more scattered out i'm not entirely sure why but the grand glider they look super freaky with their three eyes on each side of their faces if that's even their face i don't even know what that is model looks super cool and these are found in the they're found in the mountains miles the crag fields the crash zone the grand reef and that's it i think and a lot of these larger creatures that i'll be showing they do have um eggs that can spawn around the map so that's also a nice little thing so you can take them to your um alien containment and grow some of these grow what you can breed some of these creatures what the freak what did i just say all right, and the next large size creature we have on this list is going to be the Stellar. Yeah, the Stellar Thalassian. This thing looks like a big old boomerang. They sort of swim kind of slow, similar to the Reefbacks. Uh, I'm guessing that's their mouth. That's kind of nasty if their mouth is just open all the time. That's a must suck for them. But these specific Thalassians are found in the Bulb Zone, the Grand Reef, and the Dunes Biome. Because there are two types of Thalassians, and I'll show the next one right after him. The spots on his skin slash his body, you know, to give off a nice little light. It can serve as a little beacon of light in the distance whenever you're swimming around and stuff, so that's nice. All right, and the next creature we have on this list is going to be the Jasper Thalassian, brother of the Stellar one. They just look different. That's the main difference between them, and that is because they are both found in different biomes. The Jasper Thalassian is only found in the Lost River, which is why his appearance is a little bit different than his big brother, the Stellar Thalassian, and his appearance sort of matches the Lost River whenever you are down there. He has like the same pattern as an orca, almost. Almost, you know, the black and white color scheme and whatnot. Either that or that fish from Finding Nemo, the black and white fish from Finding Nemo with the scars. He sort of looks like that too. All right, and the next creature we got on this list is going to be the Twist Steel, which basically, first thing I thought of was a stalker, because it very much looks like a stalker. These creatures are aggressive, as we can see, he's still trying to bite me, but I have the damage turned off for research purposes. But it looks like a really, really long stalker. So the Twist Steels are only found in the Bulb Zone, the Underwater Islands, and the Blood Kelp Zones. And like the other creatures, you can also find eggs for them. Oh yeah, you can keep that. Oh my gosh, my ears. All right, and the next creature we got on this list is the Pyram Basis. Is that what this thing is called? Yeah, Pyram Pyram Basis. So this is honestly one of the prettiest creatures we've seen so far. As far as oh, oh my goodness, prettiest looking creature that we've uh, seen so far in this mod. But these things are non-aggressive, so that's nice. You can admire them from a distance without having to worry about them running after you and attacking you and such and these guys are only found in the so these guys are found in the bulb zone the blood kelp zone the deep grand reef and the underwater islands so if you go to any of those biomes with this mod installed there's a good chance you'll see one of these cool looking guys swimming around 
I really like the way these fins look. Can they damage you? Because it said like avoid them, but I don't know if that. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. So that little gas that it shoots off or lets off occasionally, that can damage you. But yeah, prettiest creature we've seen so far. And with that, we can move on to our, I believe it's our last creature, which is going to be the Leviathan that this mod adds in. Okay, before we show the actual Leviathan, this, this mod does add in a Leviathan baby that you can spawn in. So let's spawn Gulper. Oh, and yeah, you could pick him up too. What the heck? Oh uh, yeah, this mod adds this little Gulper Leviathan baby. Cute little guy swims around. I don't think you can find it anywhere specifically. I think it just spawns randomly. And you just, I guess, have to be lucky and pick him up. Is he trying to eat me? What the heck is he doing? But yeah, the Gopher Leviathan baby looks super cool. And with that, we can head on to the actual Leviathan, which is going to be, as you would guess, the Gopher Leviathan. Okay, I made myself invisible to show this guy because even though I have the damage turned off, he can still just swallow you whole. But this is the Gopher Leviathan. As you would imagine, he is very aggressive. And if you are not in a vehicle, no matter how much health you may have, he can just bite you one time and it'll play like this little animation. Oh my gosh, he is loud. He can grab you one time with this little animation and he will essentially swallow you whole because, you know, <laughs> the name Gopher Leviathan, it doesn't specifically say what biomes it's in. It only shows coordinates for where it'll be specifically so uh yeah i don't really know which biome exactly it'll be in. i know 100 it's underneath there's one underneath the floating islands there's definitely multiple that are swimming around the map we'll say he's got some awesome freaking roaring sounds and whatnot whenever his roar dies down it almost sounds like a freaking like how pirate ships the wood creaking on a on a ship right yeah this is the gopher leviathan is going to be the last creature that i'm going to show for today dawn and play the animation get over here mr gopher leviathan And there I go. But yeah, that was the de-extinction mod. It adds a ton of new creatures into the game. 19 new creatures that spawn around the map to be exact. All in different different biomes, locations, caves, etc. So it adds a lot of new. It'll make your Subnautica game a lot more exciting because there's going to be a lot more creatures. New creatures that you can run into. New creatures to cook. New threats and whatnot. And it adds a new Leviathan that you can mess around with. So that's also super cool. But yeah, I showed a lot of the creatures from the mod, but I did not show all of them. I believe I showed like nine. I think eight or nine and there's 19 creatures i don't want to show every single creature because if you are interested in you know checking out the mod playing the mod yourself i don't want to spoil like every little thing you know leave some things for surprise but other than that i just wanted to give you a nice little taste of the mod and get you interested in it because this is a really awesome mod if you have any other mod suggestions or recommendations for me to check out feel free to let me know in the comments below but other than that that is what i had for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one peace